been wanting a podcast that makes you laugh, has crazy guests on, but keeps it 100 and ain't afraid to talk about deep shit that happens in life. Look no more. This is Hanging Out with Darnell Bonds. Darnell is a truck driver who owns his own business, so he's seen just about everything there is to see, and we do mean everything. It's real. It's real. It's raw. It's raw. Darnell also breaks down the walls in front of men's mental health. Having suffered from major depression for a long time, he talks about his journey, how he handles it, and how he's doing today. All right, let's get in here. Open up. Have some damn fun and rock this mother. This is Hanging Out with Darnell Bonds. Now, here's your host, Darnell. Yo, what it do, people? It's your boy, D Bonds. Three months seven coming at you with another hit, another banger, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Marcelo Williams, what executed yesterday? This is heartbroken. This is a call for. Um, this is not justice for the victim family and for my son, William, Mr. Williams family. He was on death row for a crime he didn't do. The governor of Missouri as a QA man. I'll quote, this is a tradition the Missouri governor said. This is not no Christmas dinner. This is not no um, no holiday. This is not a tradition where you go every year to something. This is somebody's life. On top of that, it's somebody's innocent life. We stated We stated, I signed a petition. I called the mayor, the governor office. He it went to straight to voicemail. A thousand, thousand on top of thousand petition. People signed a petition to stop. The prosecutor where the crime happened says there was no evidence, and they was on the defense side, the innocent board organization fought for him to the end. It feel like this has been a big failure to our justice system. Some days I wake up, I want to be a lawyer for innocent people, for criminal, you know, just to get a fair trial. We don't, people gotta understand this. This is bigger than Marcelo Williams. This is bigger than everybody because we could have been him getting executed. There are innocent people. There are innocent people that have been put down like dogs. Do I agree with the death penalty? Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Do I agree that people who need to be locked up, who did crime? Yes kill somebody, go go to prison, serve your life on prison, right in prison. But if you never, ever, ever, ever did anything, I mean anything, anything, you should not be in prison. You should not be in jail. We live in a this society today where we just sit back and think like, damn, I sit back and I be like, damn, that could have been me. I I listen to podcast shows all the time. I listen to gang of podcast shows all the time. I watch crime documentaries. I listen to a lot of lawyers, a lot of trial. And they play these integrity these these when they interview integrity the 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 sub the suspect or the person involved in the case they sometimes they pressure them 
And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna give you a tip right now. Always, always, I mean for anything, when you are questioned by the police, questioned by homicide detective, robbery detective, any type of detective, and you are a person of interest, get a lawyer. Lawyer up. There is your right to lawyer up. If they still pressure you, say lawyer. They still asking some more questions, lawyer. They like, hey, we don't want you, lawyer. We this is why we got lawyers to help you. If he would have knew his rights, would he still be alive? I don't know because they still execute him with all the evidence not pointed to him. So it probably don't fucking matter in this case in Missouri. We see this all the time. And dear near about to make me cry, Tiro, because it pissed me off that an innocent person that died, a father, a son, a cousin, a brother, a friend that was put down for nothing. You ever been blamed for something you didn't do? You never look at that person the same way ever again. And we sit back and think like, damn, this is how it's going to play out. And when the minutes and hours and the minutes and seconds was running out, and I'm like, it's not looking good. Man, I, I, I never pray for somebody so hard, somebody else that hard in my life, a stranger, a person that I do not know, that I've been following cases. And I, I, I was on TikTok, and the video came. An innocent man is on death row. I'm like mm, they all said it. Then I started watching it. I watched the full video. I didn't watch the first ten second video and judge. I watched the whole video, and I went on Google and looked, and I I read everything they released. I read everything. And what do you know? What do you know? He is innocent. It is sad that we live in a in a in a in a country, the land of the free, the home of the braves, and a hey, you could be on death row, you could be in jail for something you never did. You never had a, a crime, you never committed a crime. If you commit a, a if you even got a suspended license, they look at you funny. That could have been me get executed, that could have been you get executed, that could have been any of us. Got executed yesterday. You be like, well, he should have stayed. Do you understand? There are witnesses that lie. They they rely heavy on the witness. They didn't. They didn't rely heavy on the DNA. DNA break the case, make and break the case. The witness. Let me tell you something. I watch a lot of crime shows, and all the time, five people can see something happen. Five people will have a different version of a story. I'll take you back when we got robbed at Dollar General. There are five people that seen it, six people that seen it, right? I saw the robbery. The person next to me seen the robbery. The person next, the front of the line seen it. The cash register seen it. We all was with this, right? It happened at Dollar General, right? What I describe, what other people describe, they say he had a gun. I didn't see a gun. I just see him slide her to know. Maybe I I'm maybe I didn't see that. You see what I mean? Look how that happened. But the robbery still took place. I don't know he never got caught because they never called me. So I assume he never got caught. But there are people said, well, he had this, he had that on. You see where I'm going with this? Nine out of ten, a lot of people do look similar to each other from a far distance. I I need my glasses to see people's faces. It be so fucking blurry. It's like, bruh, I couldn't hold my peace. I had to drop a podcast today rather than Saturday, right? Yeah, rather than Saturday. Hope the hope 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 the co host on board. If she listens to this, she need to be on board. But, hey, all I got to say is, man, he didn't have to die. He was murdered by a governor who's going to retire in November. When an election is coming up, please, 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 all we hear 
uh, Clarence Harris, I can't say her name, VP Clarence Harris, uh, former President Donald Trump. Are we hearing him? We don't hear about the governors that are running for office. We don't hear about the mayor that are running for office. We don't hear about the judges that are running for office. I remember four years ago, I went to go vote. I vote Kanye West. I didn't care who went for office because I was tired of it. But I vote local. And when I was voting local, I seen a gang of judges running for office. A gang of judges running for office. I did not hear none of their policies. I didn't see none of their ads. I didn't see nothing about fucking judges that are running for the city of Indianapolis who will put them on a pedestal, who will put them at, behind the bench and and put people's life on the line, who will give you 20 years to life, 15 years to life, 5 years, uh, 25 years, 50 years, no time served. So why is that not important in a more presidential election it's all about the justice system fail us all the fucking time we see people that get off who are billionaires and millionaires of a raping it's like that teenager or the young man who raped a woman and got six years got six years on probation i know people that got more time just having dope on them having weed on them I know people that got more time. People who do drugs, who who go to jail for selling drugs, they get more time than the person who kills somebody. If you don't believe me, look on Google. Look at the FBI race. Look at the justice system. Look at the statistics. Everything you look up, look at, at that shit. Because we see this all the time. All this shit can deal with your mental mind. We talk about we need love and harmony and peace, but look at the justice system that does dirty. They like scream Black Lives Matter, but we see all this shit going on. We look at testify the, the jail snitch that put this man down, put this man behind bars. They rely on witness more than they rely on the DNA. That is unfair. This is unfair to anybody that watches the justice system. We supposed to trust the justice system. We supposed to just. Trust the justice system. We know the justice system, the wheels move slow. We know that it moves slow all the fucking time. But when you don't have no witness, no DNA, no fingerprints, nothing, nothing, no shoe print, none of that match to somebody else. And guess what? The real killer out there, the family of the victim that got killed, her, two women got killed, they both, I forgot their name. They both just the homicide has not been solved. We can sit back and say this is BS. The that family is not killed justice. They just witnessed somebody life that got taken and they the killer is still out there. The killer is still out there. I don't know if you ever lost somebody through a violent of uh, of somebody else's hand that you ever lost somebody and you know the killer out there you you, you could be shaking hand with the killer you could have been bumping into the killer you could have the killer could have took your order and looked dead in your face took your loved one's life and you looking dead at him or her the governor of Missouri shame on you Pillowful of you. Shame on you. I hope you can't sleep at night. I hope this 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 mess of your soul, your spirit. I hope you lose appetite. Cause you put an innocent man away. If you don't have no remorse, you don't have no remorse. You're not a real human. You're not a real man. You just a coward. You just a murderer, just like the person who killed that lady. Y'all in the same fucking boat. And I rest my case. This is your boy Darnell. Thank you for listening to uh, Hanging Out with Darnell. I know this has been emotional. I just had to open up to let y'all know because this is pissed off. Um, I see y'all Sunday. All power to the people. I do my NFL picks too. I'll ask your boy. I am out.
This has been Hanging Out with Darnell Bonds. Darnell's passion is just to have fun and to make you have fun and to get real and raw about life. We hope you enjoyed the show and had fun. We know we had a blast. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review the show. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at dbonds317 or at skinnyd317. Y'all be cool. And see you next time on Hanging Out with Darnell Bonds.